Hello to all the Sherman stars watching. This is our first video for our target time groups this year in third grade. We are going to be sticking with our same strategy from last week, compare and contrast. Remember, comparing means finding what is the same, and contrast means finding what is different. And we can compare events, objects, animals, people, lots of different things. So today and the next couple of days, you guys are going to be comparing and contrasting, finding things that are the same and things that are different between the different kinds of birds, specifically hummingbirds of North America. Now, I will admit I don't have a whole lot of background knowledge on birds, um, but I did know a little bit about hummingbirds. And when I did read this book uh, just a few minutes ago, there were some really interesting facts that I found out. Uh, but before we do get started, I would like you guys to discuss in your group what you know about hummingbirds. And then I also want you to talk about what you want to learn or want to know about hummingbirds. So when everybody's uh, laptop is paused, discuss what you want to know about hummingbirds and what you already know about hummingbirds. And after that, uh, unpause it to uh, continue on with the video. But for right now, push pause. Okay, in case some of you pushed pause uh, earlier or later than others. Uh, we are back. I hope you guys came up with some good ideas for things that are the, or excuse me, things that you already knew about hummingbirds and things that were different about hummingbirds. So to start off, let's take a look at the table of contents. I always like to take a look at this to help preview uh, some of the headings in the book to see what I'm going to learn about. Uh, it does say kinds of hummingbirds, so I didn't know uh, that there were lots of different kinds of hummingbirds. That certainly should be a question that's answered. And what hummingbirds eat? That's another question I have. What do hummingbirds eat? I wonder if it has something to do with flowers. Uh, but right now, what I would like you guys to do is follow along as I read pages 2 and 3. And when we read, we always want to start by reading the heading, then the main text, and then the captions from the pictures. So I'm going to be reading out loud. I want you guys to follow along in your book. Don't watch me on the screen, but listen as I read and watch in your book. Follow along with me. Here we go on page two. Introduction. How fast can you flap your arms? Can you flap them so fast that you cannot see them? Can you flap them so fast they make a humming sound? Probably not. Some birds can do this. They are called hummingbirds. The name comes from the sound of their flapping wings. Then on the pictures there with the labels, it says a hummingbird in flight a child pretending to fly. Quite funny, isn't that? All right, well, we're going to keep moving right along. That got me pretty intrigued. Hummingbirds that they uh, don't even know, or can't even see how fast they're flapping, and that they can even make a noise. I mean, I can maybe make a little noise, but certainly not a humming noise when I do that. All right, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and read uh, pages 4 and 5. Again, same thing I want you guys to follow along in your book, but listen while I'm reading. How Hummingbirds Fly All hummingbirds fly in the same way. They move their wings in a circle. So they do not just fly forward like other birds. They can fly backward. They can fly up and down. They can fly sideways. They can just hover in midair. They are the only birds that can fly like this. In the pictures, can you tell which direction this hummingbird is flying? Hmm, by looking at that picture, can I tell? Then I see a nice uh, diagram with some labels and pictures there. Ways hummingbirds flap their wings. Forward flight. Backward flight. Hovering. If you look closely, I really think it's cool that you see uh, the arrows there. They give you the uh, directions that the hummingbirds move their wings for that. 
So right now I want you guys to, once everyone has pushed pause, discuss what were the similarities of hummingbirds on this page. So it says all hummingbirds, no matter what, all of them have some similarities. I want you guys to discuss those, and then we're going to check in. So go ahead and push pause right now. All right, we are back. What did you guys find out that was the same about all hummingbirds? I found five things. See if you got these. All hummingbirds move their wings in a circle. All hummingbirds can fly backwards. All hummingbirds can fly up and down. All hummingbirds can fly sideways. All hummingbirds can hover in midair. That was an interesting word that we saw there. Hover. The O makes a short U sound in there. And it was used in the sentence, they can just hover in midair. And then we even saw it over here, a picture of a hummingbird hovering. So hover means that you are just able to kind of stay in one spot. Your hovering means you're, you're moving up in the air, but you're not going back and forth, up and down a lot. You're kind of just staying in the same spot there. So can you guys think of other things that might hover in the air? Helicopter, a kite. Those are different things that they're up in the air moving, but they're just staying in that same spot for the most part. Alrighty, so we looked at things that are the same. Let's look at some differences. Okay, I'm going to read pages, or uh, excuse me, page 8 right now. So we're going to skip ahead a little bit. I want you guys to go to page 8. We're going to read this page, and I want you to figure out what is one of the differences between Anna's hummingbird and between ruby-throated hummingbirds. Follow along with me. Kinds of hummingbirds. There are more than 300 kinds of hummingbirds. Some are very small. Others are bigger. Ruby-throated hummingbirds are small. They are 3 inches, 8 centimeters, long. Anna's hummingbirds are just a little larger. They are 4 inches, or 10 centimeters, long. Hey, Once everyone is paused, discuss what is the difference between ruby-throated hummingbirds and Anna's hummingbirds. Push pause now. Alrighty. What did you guys find that was the difference? Okay, what I heard and what I read on this page is that ruby-throated hummingbirds are small, three inches long. Anna's hummingbirds are just a little bit larger. They're four inches. So it was a very small difference, literally the difference of an inch. But ruby-throated hummingbirds are three inches. Anna's hummingbirds are four inches. So a small difference, but could be an important one if you ever see uh, them both at the same time. All right. I want you guys to now read the rest of this book to yourself. Once you all get finished with it, I would like you guys again to go over all the pages and discuss what is similar between some of these hummingbirds, but mainly what are the differences between the different hummingbirds you read about. Have fun, work together, and happy reading.